Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am super excited. I wanted to come to you today with a Valentine's card. So uh, in the spring catalog, in the Stampin' Up! spring catalog, there was a really cute card on page 15. And it was created with the Lots of Hearts bundle. And I absolutely loved this card and I thought it would be a lot of fun to recreate it for you. Um, you know, to recreate it for you and show you exactly how it was made. So we call that casing, copy and share everything. And so that's my hope is that when you see some of my projects that I share on Brandy's cards with the directions and the sizes and you get those tutorials, it's so that you can go home and recreate that card or maybe, you know, change up the stamp set and so forth. All right, so I'm excited to show you exactly how I created my card. So today we're going to use the Lots of Hearts bundle and let me show you. So this is the spring catalog, the Stampin' Up! spring catalog. It's, uh, it goes through June of 2021. And so it is on page 15, I believe. There's 16. So it is on page 15. It's an absolutely adorable bundle. I think it's honestly one of my favorites. And so here it is right here. And this is the card that we're gonna case today. I just thought it was so cute. And I'm excited to show you exactly how I did that. So that's on page 15. Let me just show you the dies here. I've actually taken um, for one of my videos and we actually cut out every single piece in that die set. Um, so that I would have every single piece so that I would know what everything looked like. And let me just tell you, that was fantastic when I started creating um, because then I had an idea of just what everything looked like. Okay, so what you need for this card is you are going to need some um, Just Jade, Daffodil Delight, and some Whisper White. And that's it. That's what you're going to need for this card today. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna fold my card in half, and then I'm gonna add, I like to kind of start and build the inside first. I know that probably sounds a little crazy, um, but I like to do that simply because um, it's just easier when you go to, um, you know, when you go to work on the top, you've already got the inside done. It's just easier to put this piece on the inside. So I put it right on the top is where I like it. So that's where I'm gonna put that. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now, if you're new to Brandy's Cards or you're wondering where the sizes and the dimensions are, not to worry, just go to brandyscards.com and you're going to see this card featured there. Now, if you don't see it, just in the search bar, type in there, um, lots of hearts bundle. And this should come up or lots of hearts, maybe even try Valentine's and you should see this card, okay? So now I'm gonna bring in a piece of graph paper. And I think one of my favorite, um, you know, one of my favorite uh, stamps from this is actually this guy right here, this heart. I just think it's so adorably cute. So we're gonna start with that. I have both Just Jade and I have Daffodil Delight. And so those are the colors that I'm gonna be using today. And I also have here um, a granny apple green as well. So I have one of those to stamp too. So I have all three of those. And then I have my card stock. So you're gonna to wanna to bring in your card stock and set that down. And let's go ahead and open our Daffodil Delight first. We'll start there. So we're gonna ink that up, Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna stamp the Daffodil Delight one probably right about in here, okay? And then I'm also gonna stamp another Daffodil Delight heart, but it's gonna kind of come off the side. Now what I recommend is that you try not to, you try to keep it straight, um, because if you kind of turn it, the lines inside of the heart, it looks a little wonky. And the reason that I know that 
is because I have stamped a few of these and um, when it's not straight, I just didn't like it as well. Okay, so I am going to set that aside. We're gonna pull in our Just Jade. I have a chamois here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that off on my chamois. I'm gonna ink it back up in Just Jade. Now here's the key. The same thing like with the edge, you're gonna wanna line your Just Jade up the best that you can. And you know, it might have been easier to stamp it the other way for me. Um, but we'll just give this a try. Yeah, there we go. So you're gonna wanna try to stamp the Just Jade in between the yellow or the Daffodil Delight if you can. Now it doesn't go perfectly in between, um, but you do kind of want to be able to see both colors. I think that's what really kind of makes it stand out and unique. Okay, so now I have my Granny Apple Green. We're gonna open that one up as well, and we're gonna ink it up. And that one is going to come down here at the top. And then I'm gonna do another one that's gonna come up here from the bottom. Perfect. Oh, I just love those colors. It just looks so pretty. So my Granny Apple Green ink pad is done. I will be using the, um, I'll be using my uh, Daffodil Delight and my Just Jade again here in just a moment. Okay, so let's see here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna pull in, this is our card base, and I have my Just Jade. We're gonna open that guy back up. And then what I've done is I have mounted this long line of hearts. And let me show you, this is the stamp that I have mounted on there. And so let me show you how I did that. Now you're probably wondering, now why in the world would you do it in a diagonal? Well, it didn't fit on this block. I didn't really want the really big block because it was a little bit harder to work with. And I'm really only using four or five of these at the top. So I didn't feel like it, I really needed to do that. So what I'm doing is I just, I'm coming over about an inch and a half from the edge and I am just gonna stamp a few of these hearts. And I am going to kind of, you know, alternate them, if you will. And I'm gonna do probably, oh, I don't know, three rows, maybe four. Let's do one more, yeah. And so because you can see them, you know, you can see them through the block because it's, an, um, it's a photopolymer stamp, it's quite easy really to line up. So the same sort of thing here, we're gonna come in probably an inch and a half away from the edge. And the key here is, is because the cardstock is folded, you wanna make sure that you, um, you really get that image good and stamped. So you don't wanna rock, but you do wanna push it down and make sure that you're gonna get a nice clear image. So let's see here. I'm gonna do one more so it matches the other side and maybe you want to do more. You certainly could. You could do them all the way across if you wanted to. Um, but for this card today, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it close to what Stampin' Up! is showing in, actually, I'm gonna leave that open because we're gonna need that again um, in their sample. Okay, so we have our hearts, and um, oh my goodness, look at that. I stamped my hearts the wrong direction. Rats, hmm. Well, it's a good thing that I have another piece of cardstock here. So let's just go ahead and do that um, because I do want it to be right so that you can see it. Um, I just totally stamped that upside down. Some of you, at, some of you are probably like, oh yeah, I saw you do that. Okay, so let's do it again. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna start stamping our hearts. That's why I always have extra cardstock on hand. And I'm gonna show you what, we're still gonna use that card base. And then I will use the, the actual paper for something else, okay? So there we have that portion of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap paper that I have over here. Um, you know, you could take, um, you know, you could take a piece of Whisper White scrap or anything that you have. Um, and we can mask this. I just don't want my stamp to come down towards the bottom, that's all. Um, here we go. So this is the right way to stamp this. 
because we want those hearts. We don't want those hearts upside down. We want them to come down the right way. So again, I'm just going to alternate them. You see that? So we're just gonna alternate it. And I'm gonna go one more row. So you're only gonna see about that much of the hearts. So don't worry, I'm not concerned at all if the bottom portion of my hearts aren't good. That's totally okay and I don't expect them to be great. Um, like I said, it's because I just want this top portion. All right, so now we have that. So that's looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna need is I have another piece of Whisper White cardstock. And um, if you look at the Stampin' Up! example, they use some designer series paper. But instead, I thought, well, let's just use a piece of Whisper White. I thought that might kind of look nice. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna add some adhesive right behind this Whisper White piece, and I thought it would be fun to offset it. So versus it being straight, which I do a lot straight, I decided to kind of make that one go on a diagonal, okay? So then we have our fun stamped piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that guy over and we are gonna add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind that. And we're gonna kinda just get this all prepped and ready to go. And then we're gonna pull out our mini cut and emboss machine, which that thing absolutely rocks. It's pretty fantastic. Um, okay, so here we go. Now you can see that our card is coming together quite nicely. Now this piece I am going to add straight. So the bottom piece kind of you know, cattywopped, I suppose. This piece is going to be straight, all right? So let's bring back in our Just Jade. I have my little sentiment strip here, and my one of my favorite sentiments in here is um, this one right here. It says, just a little note, and then on the inside, scent with lots of heart. I just thought that was absolutely adorable, and um, so that is the message that I thought that I would stamp. So we're gonna ink just a little note up, and that's gonna be inked up in just jade. And then I also have here the second part of the sentiment, which is sent with lots of heart. And I'm gonna open up the inside of my card, which again, we, I messed up on that one, so I'm gonna have to cut this piece off, and I'm actually gonna glue it on the inside. So here we go, sent with lots of heart. And then what we're gonna do is I have my heart here still, and I'm gonna ink that up in Daffodil Delight one more time so that I can um, stamp that inside my card. So we're gonna just take that right over the top of that with lots of heart. Isn't that precious? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna put away Just Jade. We're all done with that, so we don't need Just Jade anymore. And what we do need, though, is we gotta fix up the top of our card. So let's go ahead and pull in our mini big sh or our mini cut and emboss machine. This thing is really cool, I love it. And um, we're gonna pull in our cutting plates, okay? And then I also have a piece of um, Just Jade cardstock here, okay? So the Just Jade cardstock is going to that Just Jade cardstock is gonna go right here on top. The, um, the image that I wanna use today is this one right here. So there are two heart-shaped images. This one cuts the heart out. This one actually cuts out the frame of the heart. So that's the one that I wanna use today. So I'm gonna put that down just like that. And I've made my sandwich. And then I'm gonna run it through my mini cut and emboss machine. Now I love having this machine on my desk. It is so nice, it is so small and compact. It's pretty fantastic. So, um, you know, I like the big cut and emboss too, but let me tell you, there's something nice about having um, something a little bit smaller and compact due to space. Okay, so there you have it. There's that piece right there. So we're gonna set that back aside. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just grab a little block because I missed grabbing a block. And then we are going to add 
the small little heart. Um, let me show you the small heart on here. So we're going to add this little guy here, the small heart. And oh, it's already been added. Okay, I just found it on the on the table here. So here's my small little heart, and we're going to stamp that one as well, and we're going to stamp it in Just Jade. And so let's grab our Just Jade, and we're going to stamp it in Just Jade, and we are going to add it to the inside of our card. So that one is going to go right there on the inside of our card, so that's perfect. Now I'm going to clean it, and I am going to stamp some for the top of our card as well. I've got my Daffodil Delight, a clean stamp, and I'm going to stamp three of these. I want three hearts. Now the good thing is, is you know, you could certainly hand cut these out if you would like, but if not, inside the die set, you can actually run each one of these little hearts through the die cutting machine, and they pop right out, and when they do, you get these cute little hearts. So you've got some fun hearts to play with there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting our card together. So here is our card, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna add this fun, look at that fun strip. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So where do we want it? You know, every card is different depending on how you stamp it, uh, but I think that looks pretty good. So a fine tip glue pen works really good for this. Um, I personally just use a little bit of my liquid adhesive and I just very carefully move around the edge. Now I also have been known to put some glue on a piece of, like some glue on a piece of scrap paper as well. And on that scrap paper then I just kind of place the outline, I kind of push it through it. Um, so that's a possibility as well. There's plenty of ways that you can do things. So you just got to figure out what you like. So let's see, where do we like this? What do you guys, what do you think? I am thinking probably right around in here. Looks pretty good to me. So we're going to add that to our card. So that looks pretty good. I like that. Um, maybe we should have done it down just a little bit lower because that one piece kind of looked like a mistake, didn't it? So that's better. Okay, so here I have my just a little note sentiment. I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals behind that. And then after I do that, we're going to adhere that piece to our card. And so I'm thinking you could put it anywhere you want to, but I really liked how Stampin' Up! did it. So I'm going to stick with that theme and I'm gonna put that right in there. I also have some white baker's twine here and I went ahead and tied a bow um, and then I snipped that off and we're gonna add a mini glue dot behind it and then we're gonna add that kind of right under the little note, just in here, just like that, perfect. So now you have, it's just a note. Now these were the little, you know, the little hearts that we cut out earlier. They're so pretty. Um, you know, you could, let's just say, if you wanted to, you could have, you know, before you glued this down, you could um, put some of these under here. Um, I didn't glue the whole thing down, you know, cause I kind of did around, just, you know, sporadically around the edge. So that worked just fine. Um, but again, you, you know, if you have glue under there, that wouldn't have come up. So it just so happened that I didn't, so it came up just fine. So here's another one. We're going to add that one about in here. So that looks nice. And then I have another one. And I think that one's going to go right about there. Very cool. Very cool. So now to embellish this card, we're going to use the Elegant Fauceted Gems. And I am going to use my Take Your Pick tool. And so there's two different sizes here. They're also pretty. There's the clear ones, um, you know, some champagne-like uh, colored ones, and then of course the pearlized ones. But we're going to use today, I'm going to use the small one, and then I'm going to use the big clear one. Just kind of put it right in there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to grab the big one first. And let's see. 
maybe, where do we want it? Maybe up in here. And I think we're gonna kind of, just kind of play in. You'll have to see where you like yours, kind of depending on how your card turns out, right? Um, but I think that's super fun and that works out just fine. So there you have it, just a little note. And I'm gonna switch it out with my original since I um, had to change out my cards. And so what I mean by that is I have one with the stamped inside because I did this wrong. And then I have the correct one. So I'm gonna cut this off later and I'll glue it inside and it'll work perfectly, just like that. Um, but here's my original. And this one is just a note as well. And then on the inside, sent with lots of heart. Now you can see on this one, I put a little gem. So you could certainly do that. And while I'm looking at that, I'm gonna absolutely do that. Um, Cause I just think it's so pretty, just like that. Okay, so now let me show you a couple of the other cards that I also created with this set. Um, um, I also, uh, this is a case card too. I thought it was super cute. And so this is from the Stampin' Up! catalog too, right here in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So mine's just a wee bit different, um, not a whole lot. I changed the colors up a little bit. Instead of coloring the flowers, I left them white. Um, and I just had fun with it. One of my favorite things, I think, is how you can die cut out these hearts and these X's, and then you can add them back to, um, you know, to the card front. So I thought that was kind of fun right there. And the next one that I have to share with you, this one I just posted on Brandy's Cards the other day, along with the sizes and the dimensions, but it's also from this set. Um, and it's mostly the die cut images. And you know how I talked about stamping the background, that's how I did it with this long heart stamp. Um, so just a little note, and this one is sent with lots of heart too. And it's a Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay is the colors of this one. And then I have one more Valentine to show you. And this one was for my color challenge for my team. Our colors were Rococo Rose, um, Petal Pink, and Soft Suede. And so those were the colors. And so um, I went ahead and um, basically cut my squares in the colors for the color challenge. And to make my soft suede a little darker, I actually sponged this piece. So that's what I did to kind of make that a little bit darker. Um, and then I added my gems. And I believe the Love You came from um, Nothing Better Than stamp set in, in dies, I believe. So that bundle. All right, so I think that that is it. So I hope that you enjoyed my Valentine cards today. Um, I just wanted to, to share some love with you and I had fun making these and I really like this bundle a lot. So I was glad to be able to have the opportunity to share. Not to mention my Dylan is helping uh, video this video today. So I'm super excited about that um, and him editing it for me as well. So thank you for joining me. And um, if you get the opportunity, um, if you like my card today, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please, uh, you know, do that as well. Um, and you can also hit the bell so you're notified of my next video. Um, I'm excited with Dylan's help. I'm hoping to be able to film some more short videos uh, for you like this one today. Thank you for stopping by and have a blessed day. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.